We got a slow cooker. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So we're just out doing some field testing today of various equipment. We're testing out the 120 watt solar panel, which I've had for about close to a year now. I've been testing it in different environments. And I've also been testing out the Kodiak, the Energy Kodiak power generator. Now these two items, this big sucker here, and this guy here, they weigh a total of about 25 pounds. Now while that might seem like a lot, the next best thing, if you look at solar panels plus a power source, which is as powerful and capable as this, is gonna weigh about three times as much. And I'm talking about pairing monocrystalline panels, the big, heavy, flat panels, which are not amorphous. That means they don't bend, they can't roll up or anything like that. Combining those with the next best power generator on the market, which may be something by goal zero, which is more than two times the size of this, with the equivalent power as far as I know. But I also know that the Energy Kodiak charges the fastest. It has a 600 watt proprietary input for solar panels. And so if I had five of these, it would charge essentially five times as fast. Now this is only 120 watts. This is 1.1 kilowatt hour battery. So if you do the math on that, and I've tested this with great success in full sunlight, uh, basically it takes about 10 hours to charge the Energy Kodiak battery with this uh, power film panel because even though the monocrystalline panels are a bit more efficient than these thin film panels these are going to function even if it gets a little bit shady even if part of the panel is obstructed and it's super lightweight now what you need to know about power film is that they make things for the military so they don't care too much about the aesthetic they don't care about the curb appeal of a product they're only really starting to get more focused on the retail aspect of things and they're still struggling I think to meet the consumer demands the standards which have been you know increased by a, a lot of uh, companies who make products which look really nice like the Goal Zero the uh, the Bruntons you know those companies they know how to make a product look really nice on the on the outside but in terms of the internal components the actual capabilities of the product itself uh, energy kodiak mix of the power film far and away blows away the competition so you can get 20 percent off the energy kodiak battery through the link in the description using code canadian prepper and uh, just a flawless investment in my opinion, it has a lot of very intelligent features. I've already done an in-depth review of this, but I'm more so talking now about the combination of the two. Uh, easily the most portable option on the market. I mean, 25 pounds 
it's just unbelievable. I have to beat that point like a dead horse. So this power film uh, panel is the most advanced, but it's very expensive. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You may be able to find one on sale now and again, but uh, you're looking at spending probably between a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for this panel which is super lightweight incredibly durable you could fill this thing full of bullet holes and it's still going to function albeit at a reduced power output a reduced wattage so these microcells are not connected in a series meaning they're all connected in parallel so you can actually uh, put holes in any part of it and it's still going to function like i said it's not going to function as powerfully so you can puncture it you can drop it uh, it's water resistant no you don't want to say it's waterproof but you certainly could leave it out if there was a, a drizzle or something like that it's not going to affect it i mean like i say these things are designed to be put on top of military tents i've used it atop a tent before um, survival tech nord has done extensive testing with his 120 watt solar film panel i'm going to give a shout out to him probably one of the best comms guys on youtube as far as survival and preparedness go go check out survival tech nord's channel i'll post the link in the description so as you can see with the kodiak right now i'm pretty much charging all of these things except the flashlight and the only reason why i can't is because this genius adapter is too big and it's blocking some of the other if i had an extension cord i could easily do it because right now i'm only drawing 110 watts and this thing can put out 3000 watts peak and 1500 watts continuous. So I could theoretically charge 15 times the amount of stuff that you see here. And so we got a Baofeng radio, we got some walkie talkies, we got my DJI drone remote controller. I'm charging a deep cycle marine battery for the kayak, for the trolling motor. I'm also charging a uh, smaller 12 volt battery for my transducer for the for the kayak. I'm charging a DJI Phantom uh, battery, just capable of charging a lot of stuff for photographers, for anybody. Even my truck only has a 400 watt output on it. So this puts out four times the amount that my rear outlet puts out from my truck. So I can run different types of power tools. I've been using this thing to mow the lawn, uh, to vacuum the car. To use the uh, air blower, I can charge up my air compressor, uh, pretty much anything. Most, most electronics, major appliances of course, are going to struggle even though I have washed clothing with this. It's good to just use around the house, not only for emergency preparedness, not only does it have a huge capacity, of course you can connect other batteries to it to increase the capacity. So I could easily switch this around and get that deep cycle marine battery feeding that energy into here as a backup. It also has a charge through feature. So I'm charging it right now as it's charging other things. So there's probably not much of a net loss because I'm only draining 100 watts right now and I'm pulling in 120 watts. So, you know, and I'm probably getting, because it's full sunlight, these things are so efficient that I'm probably not losing anything in the actual battery right now. And sure enough, the battery is still chock full. So just a amazing piece of equipment. This whole setup is gonna run you about three grand. And that's a lot. It depends on how much, you know, how seriously I guess you take your emergency preparedness. This battery has 2000 recharge cycles. So I'm probably never ever gonna use it to, to its complete capacity before the thing just dies in 10, 20 years. Combined, I mean, if you have a quad, if you have a sled, if you're hiking with a group of people and one person just pack this in, 25 pounds, that's really not that much. You know, so if you had one pack mule devoted just to packing this out for your camp, this could power everybody in your camp's electronics for a week. Uh, especially if you have the solar panel, then it can power it indefinitely. This really is the absolute state of the art when it comes to portable solar power. There's nothing, there's no combination of items that I think approaches this in terms of the lightweight, the power, uh, the durability, all those qualities. I mean, it's just unmatched, which is why you pay so much for it. Now, iNergy does sell the stationary solar panels, things that you would put in your yard or on your tiny home or on your roof or whatever the case might be. 
Uh, those are going to be actually more efficient. I think 20% efficiency compared to about 13% efficiency on the thin film amorphous. Uh, and basically all that means is that it doesn't require as large of a surface area. So 120 watt monocrystalline panel is going to be about half the size of this in terms of surface area. Going to get the same amount of power, going to be a lot heavier and bulkier but it's probably better for, it's not probably better, it's definitely better if you're just putting that permanently on a house or something like that. This is strictly for portability. So I wouldn't advise getting the PowerFilm flexible foldable panels unless you're planning to be mobile. Otherwise you may as well just get monocrystalline panels and you can get a lot more for the same price. You could probably get five times the amount of wattage in monocrystalline as you will with the thin film amorphous silicon panels. So in order to make this system work, I did have to make my own cord to make it work. I can't remember what this cord is called. There's a name for it. I'll write it across the screen, but uh, I had to get Energy to send me uh, a dummy cord so I could connect the end of the power film cord to that. It wasn't hard to do and it works excellent. I mean, it works amazing to be honest. It's, uh, I only have positive things to say about this whole system. I think large part of the success of my recharging the Kodiak via solar is due to the fact that this is one of the highest quality solar panels you can get. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get the same results with some of the other panels on the market, but PowerFilm and the Kodiak power generator are a match made in heaven. I mean, this is, like I said, the high point of modern technology here. There's also an RV plug. If you lived in a tiny home and you weren't cooking with electrical and you weren't running a lot of major appliances with electrical, you could get away with just using this and be okay. So just FYI, I got the Diamondback cover here. So it's allowing me to catch the sun a bit more when the sun's on an angle like it is now. Even though these things are gonna function in any orientation really they take light in even when they're face down in the dirt it seems now if you want to spend really big money power film has kilowatt systems that they sell to the military and i think they're two kilowatt tent systems very large tents with the whole roof uh, with this panel here but i don't know anybody who can really afford those i think those are in the twenty thousand dollar ish and up ballpark. Now you don't necessarily need to lug around a Kodiak to work with the PowerFilm 120. PowerFilm also makes 90 watt, 60 watt, 30 watt, 20 watt, 10 watt, 13 watt, and even a 5 watt panel. But if you are going to be doing any serious work with a larger group of people, you're probably going to want more power because uh, the last thing you want to do is have to ration power, especially when you need it to to do your work or whatever the case might be. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want one of these energies, check out the link in the description, Canadian Preppers, the coupon code for 20% off. I'll post a link to the PowerFilm panels as well. Thanks for watching, Canadian Prepper out.